I'm with my dear friend, um, and the smile just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> every time. And there's the laugh. That's the laugh I was looking it's for. True. Selena, how you doing, love? I'm so good. It's so good to see you. You're in such a good space now. And that's what we were talking about before we cracked the mic, that it's just, um, you know, taking the time to really uh, to be with yourself, to really just kind of yeah. experience and grow and learn who you truly are. It it seems that uh, you are just kind of you're there right right now. Are, are we at about 100 <laughs> percent or what? dude? I do. I feel that way. It's just crazy you know the music and then my family and my health and yeah. just my life I just I feel really good right now it's it's good you know you got to check in with yourself and you have to balance it you really do yeah. it's important now how is this headspace here gonna translate into the amazing stuff that I'm sure you have on the horizon for us because my gosh between not only your smash with Kygo, but then you come with this Bad Liar track that just has everybody like, oh, damn, dude, she's just changing the game with pop music. <laughs> like, so, yeah, so how is how is where you're at now really translating into, um, you know, the 2017 version of Selena? I think that's the point, you know? I think for me, last year was really, it was really challenging, and yeah. I had to take some time for myself, and that's scary because you don't know what that's going to do. You don't know if that's going to be bad or if that's going to be good. What and you're going to find. Yeah, yeah. but I, I also feel like that that made it better. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think that any of this music would have existed if I didn't take my time, that I didn't take the moment for myself. And now it's just changed everything, how I see things, how I'm taking my time with it, my content, what I want it to look like, what I want it to feel like. It's just different, and yo, know, and and when you want to be comfy and cozy, you come in the awesome pink romper suit. You know what I'm saying? Just do you. I'm just coming in pajamas now. It. I'm loving. <laughs> no, but I'm loving that because as we were talking, it's you know it's so important for you just to be able to just dial things down a little bit. Yeah. You know, as things begin, you know, to start to ramp up a bit. Um, are you still excited for that part for fans to get a hold of so much new stuff and uh, you know for them to get a hold of the the right stuff? Yeah, from you? of course. Yeah, I think now, you know, I want to know that anytime I put something out that it's going to be worth people's time, yeah. you know, and I think oh, that's what happened with Bad Liar. I want people to hear something on the radio and be like, wow, that's that's actually refreshing. I don't know if that's new or weird or different. And we're, you know, sampling one of the greatest bands of yes. all time. It's just it's a whole new thing for me. And I, I love that because my fans are really accepting of where I go. But it's also making new fans at the same time. Yeah, how cool is it to grow this fan base that is already global? I mean, you know, we've talked several times before. There are countries where they don't even speak English as the language and that they gravitate not only towards your music, but just who you are and what you stand for to introduce, you know, this version of you. And not that it's changed, but just this really uh, amazing Selena Gomez now and in, in starting to bring along this new fan base. And, you know, that's got to be another fun, like, challenge to say, like, yeah, I'm going to grab a hold of your hearts also and no, let you smile, too. No, I think it's living, it's living by example. I've never really ever showed anybody a side of me that was purely perfect. And yeah. I think that that's not a realistic place to be. And sometimes it's been messy and it's been weird and... I think they appreciate honesty. Whether Heck you yeah. respect anything I do or not, that's something that you can always say that I've been, which has been straightforward and honest with people. So yeah, dude. Each and every project that you do, you put your all into it. And, um, you know, I think we've talked about the vulnerability before and I'm willing to go there. Um, uh, gosh, man. Does it still get a bit scary or is that just a foolish question? Because I would imagine that still there's, you know, sometimes like, oh, goodness, man, I'm sharing my heart. Yeah, it is. Of course, it always is. But I mean, I'm still I'm still 24. I yep. mean, by all means, I'm sure it's going to be always evolving and yeah. things are changing. And I'm OK with that. I think it's it's about accepting it and understanding that there is strength in being vulnerable. And I think that's. When you figure out what your strength is, maybe it is vulnerability. Maybe it's just something else that you're passionate about. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's something I've held on to that really has helped me. So I want to focus on Bad Lara. Let's talk about this particular song and what it means to you. What What is uh, that special story that, you know, that really, um, you know, allowed you to, to make this song? You know what's funny is the song was over a year ago. I've been in the studio for a year that we actually worked on it, and I was very much single, like yeah. very single, like the most single <laughs> I could be. And it was funny because we were just talking about that feeling. You know, it's like a story. Yeah. It's that story of, man, I really miss that. I don't know what that feeling like is 
anymore. I don't know. And I think it just came out at a really perfect time because then things started shifting for me. And it was so fun because that that feeling I think everybody loves. It's that initial. You're a soothsayer. You kind of put it out there. I, and it just, it, it happened. You know what I mean? No, but that's so good. It's because to connect with that feeling, yeah. that's that's me. I mean, just knowing that you want that you want that feeling and you, God, yeah. you, you want to tell somebody, but maybe not. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just a bad, badass liar. I'm a bad liar too. I put it out there. I man. know. I'm not very slick when it comes not to cool it. Not cool at all. Huh? No, I'm just like so happy <laughs> like, and glowing. Uh, I don't want to go out. I'm, I'm washing my hair. Hair. Yeah, I, I exactly. can't come up with a lie exactly. on the spot at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh! But I mean, just to to know that this is well, I, I don't know. Is this a, a lead single for more to come? I mean, I, to me, there's so much music that I've been working on, and yeah. and they're all they're all kind of very different, and gotcha. it's happening a lot quicker than people are anticipating. Yeah. So as much as I've been laying low a little bit, it's been a lot has been happening. Is it I happening at the pace that you're okay with? 100 percent i think that's part. what i wanted I yeah think there's a lot of chaos going on and if i can just make people happy and i can come in when i can and do what i can to make people happy that's all i think the world needs yeah. right now they don't need me going everywhere and just being down everyone <laughs> like, I, well no i mean i tell you what i mean there there's never enough of you i mean just very really. sweet <laughs> no, I, I, keeping it real dude keeping it real there's ne- i mean no with the energy that you exude is just there's never enough um, let's talk about this really special Netflix series that you've had your hands in. Mm. Man, 13 Reasons. Why. Like, How important was it for you to be able to kind of creatively go in that direction for just a little bit and, and, and you know allow that story to be something that is touching so many people's lives? Yeah, it was crazy. The reaction I was not expecting. But I knew that the book had a following. You yes. know, We had the book for seven years, my mom and I, and we – we actually wanted to make it a film, and originally I was going to be in it. And I think the message was just so powerful. It resonated yeah. with people in a very complicated way because it's a, it's not easy to talk about mm-hmm. something like that, especially showing it. So yeah. it was something that was a little scary to be a part of, but also these kids today are seeing so much already that yeah. you know they're they're exposed to things that. I was never even remotely we didn't able even, to. We didn't even think about it. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it's it was crazy to see how the reaction was, but I also expected it. Yeah. And now with season two, we answer a lot of those questions. There's a lot of resolution. There's a lot of, you know, the repercussions of what happens. And I think that it, it's a good it's a good little conversation starter. It's not little. I mean, it's a big yeah. it's a big thing, but. but- it's real. It's a way to get people talking. It's real. I'm three episodes only because I've been lagging because I've been just thinking like, man, dude, I, I don't know if I'm ready for the tears. It's intense. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, intense. I don't know. I need to be in. A, I need to be in a spot where I know that nobody's no, gonna be looking. The windows are drawn, so my neighbors aren't checking in through my windows and Honestly, seeing me sobbing on the couch. So it's intense. I'm getting there, dude. I'm getting there. All right, we're gonna slide over to these fan questions because yeah. there are a lot, but I narrowed it down to some of the good ones. You ready? Yes. At Sales Base Six sent in the question off of Twitter. What everyday like average Joe America job would you have loved to have had? Um, I actually love cooking. I'm yeah. not the best, but I think I would ideally love to maybe work in like a bakery or something like the idea of having regulars, like yeah. people that are just like, they come through and like, I hey, want the regular, and you know, their yeah. order every day. Yeah, yeah, you like the sprinkles, don't I you? I love that. I also love people. So I yeah. think for me, it's like New York and like that vibe. I feel like I, that's where my life would have been. All right. I got that. Yeah. Sales cakery or something yeah, like that. Totally. I'm with you. <laughs> Hey, At Danny Gomez sent in the question, uh, do you fall asleep quickly or does it take you a while? Oh, it takes me so long. Yeah, to wind down, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's like Brain, two I'm and always... a half hours just to even remotely <laughs> calm down. I'm just thinking about a million things. Here's one from Alex Jones. Uh, if you were a boy, what was the, what would be the first thing that you would do? If I was a boy, oh my goodness. Um, I would want to know what it is that they think about girls. Mm. Why are you so complicated? That's what we think. Maybe, mm-hmm. right? Because I want to know why they think we're so complicated. <laughs> I'm not saying we're not. Don't get me wrong. But it is very, sometimes I'm just like, wow, you really don't get it. I'm like, you don't get it. And why? We don't because we don't. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> Sometimes it's just that simple. It's like they it's just they don't get it. Yeah, it's we just, don't. I don't know. I We're don't boneheads. Know. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, for me to be able to share time with you, it's always just the best. I mean, the smile. Like I said, I mean, I'm not. I've never been one to blow smoke, and you know, we always had amazing conversation. And this is just another one that I can add to the history books. It's just, Thank you. Uh, it's it's you. You're in an amazingly uh, wonderful space now, and I'm glad that you took the time to share it and to continue to uh, inspire because you do that so well. Thank you. Whether so you know much. it or not, girl, you are owning it. You're the best. Thank you. Oh, she said it. <laughs> <laughs>